<laughs> of course, right when I hit Facebook Live, I'd start choking. Job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. All right, so let me go ahead and, and recap today. It's been quite a um, long one. Woke up this morning at 4 o'clock a.m., picked up um, TJ around 5.30, headed off towards Georgia, drove about three hours from our first meeting, which started at 9 o'clock, um, had calls um, in the car all the way down. So should I start a fan page? Should I just stick with my own personal? Or I would start a fan page 100% because... You're going to need one at some point anyways, and this gives you the ability to start building now. Um, TJ took 12 naps uh, on the way down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He did sleep, though, and I'm going to give him hell about it. Straight into meetings. Uh, back to 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 back. I'm going to try to sell 75 life insurance policies in three days. Um, so we see if we can't get us off to a good start. Some content stuff in between the meetings. One quick tip that I just wanted to uh, throw out there real quick, and this is a tip from the web. If you're sitting across the table from somebody and you're going for the close and they're starting to hesitate, they're starting to question, well, I don't know if I should do this much or this much. And in the life insurance world, that's the phrase I usually hear. Well, I don't know how much coverage I actually need, whether I should do this much or this much. I always go with the lowest. For example, I don't know if I should do the, the 200,000 or the 150,000 of coverage. Ma'am, I would, I personally would, would go with the lower. You can always bump it up later. You would be amazed at how many times when you offer your advice as the lower, they will then take the higher. It's like clockwork. It's so funny, uh, but it gets back to your integrity, right? Like you're not that you know used car salesman trying to trick them into a higher uh, ticket price. You're just there that looking out for their best interest and whatever they want to do. That's what you want to do for them. Um, sold 16 life insurance policies today. Uh, as soon as we wrapped up the last meeting, headed straight uh, to the hotel. Finished up uh, final little editing pieces for the daily vlog that went out today. Um, that went out uh, a little earlier than normal, around what 8.30, something like that. The very first episode of my new podcast called The Breadwinner Podcast went out today. Um, featuring Andy Frisella. Um, approval went through on iTunes, so that went live today. Had um, just checking the last time I just checked, it's already got 24 five star reviews. The second episode will launch tomorrow uh, with Sean Whalen. Um, recorded another podcast when I got back to the hotel today uh, with a guy by the name of Dom Fossett. Awesome guy. Um, his answers to the questions on the podcast were incredible, uh, very unique. Um, but full, chopped full of integrity, uh, which is one thing that just comes out of that guy. Um, <laughs> threw some food in my mouth and then went to the gym. What's up, everybody? It is snowing in Atlanta, Georgia. What in the world? Well, I guess that means we need to go get a good workout in. I uh, just got home from the gym. It's 11.23 p.m. Uh, TJ uh, put me through some ridiculous workout at the end of my uh, regular workout. He's got one more, but he's not defeated. He's not to be defeated. Did chest and tries a day, and then he put me some through some plyometrics, jumping on boxes. Woo! Yeah. Thoroughly exhausted by the end of the workout. Could hardly see straight. <sighs> That's the difference right there. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> drove back 20 minutes to the hotel and here we are 11 23 p.m so a solid 19 hour day with i mean i ate lunch for 10 minutes that i heated up in the microwave in a gas station one of my meals that i had prepped for the week pointing to this gas station tj's eating zaxby's car smells like a giant buffalo wing <laughs> better roll into this gas station and heat up ground turkey and freaking carrots <laughs> uh, somebody shoot me. 
<laughs> um, took about a 10 minute lunch before or a 10 minute dinner, um, same food before we went to the gym. And so really there was not a second of the day that wasn't spent either in a meeting selling life insurance on my computer recording a podcast on camera reporting, uh, recording the vlog or, um, driving, um, all day today. So that's kind of every day. So I'm going to go ahead and, and tell you guys, which is weird to even say like, Hey, Hey, uh, big announcement. Um, when this clock strikes 12 here in 30 minutes, I will turn 33 because my birthday is tomorrow. And I plan on spending it doing exactly what I did today, which is work another 19 hours, get another workout in tomorrow night after working 17 hours straight when I feel like my head's about to explode and I need to take a nap, but doing it anyway. And, um, cause that's just the way I want to do it. TJ was like, Hey man, you want to do something special for your birthday tomorrow? I was like, Nope, just want to work and get stuff done, man. Um, but you got too much stuff to do, um, to waste time doing anything other than uh, providing value and getting this content out there. So with that, guys, I'm going to probably call it a night. I stink from that workout. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to get in bed and I'm going to go to bed with peace of mind knowing that I put a full day's work in today. How about you? How can I add value to your life? You know, one thing, I just started up my uh, new podcast. We just recorded the first two episodes yesterday. And it's called the Breadwinner uh, Podcast. And so we're looking to bring on, like, extremely successful entrepreneurs and influencers. And it's a you know, 10 minutes in and out, three-question um, interview-style podcast. So if you know anyone that would be... Um, you know, interested in doing something like that, I could, you know, take a look at them and having them on the podcast for sure.